as the name suggests delus in a psychotic symptom it is a psychotic disorder so shall we start writing the theoretical aspect look i have not kept a separate lecture series for phenomenology but if you wish we can talk a little bit about something called as delusion so what are the headings for today once again definition epidemiology etiology risk factors diagnostic criteria mental status examination course and prognosis and treatment or management these are the eight headings under which we shall be discussing this topic like in schizophrenia you get independent question on etiology in delusional disorder you won't get an independent question on etiology because much is not known about the etiology of uh, delusional disorder much is not known about the etiology mohammed ehsan wants me to repeat the five points in the meantime you students write it i'll repeat those five points for him delusion phenomenology the vectors the stages the types the resolution everything that is mentioned about the term delusion in fish and sims because that's not very well given in kaplan because sometimes the examiner would wish to know whether you have read only kaplan or whether you have attempted to read phenomenology your viva always will start in a case presentation from phenomenology that is symptoms they will hardly discuss the diagnosis management and approach if you are making a mistake in phenomenology you have seen in your residency the most stress they give is on phenomenology that is mental status examination symptom sign fish sims do you agree with me so the first will be phenomenology second will be eliciting the delusion and describing it third would be the management and the course and prognosis third and fourth okay so this is what i said to um, about the delusional disorder and fifth and last will be the differentiated from schizophrenia it is not at all possible that you get a case of delusional disorder and they do not ask you how to differentiate it from schizophrenia do you get it up to here do you all get it up to here rather than writing the definition of a delusional disorder let us first write the definition of a delusion we all know it is a false form fixed unshakable belief that is the first part of the definition second part it that persist even after contrary evidence to disprove it and the third part is which i do not teach much to the undergraduates out keeping with the socio cultural background if you get a question on delusional disorder first write the definition of delusion you know these terminologies these definitions are very important false firm fixed belief false i believe my neighbors are going to harm so first thing to be uh, confirmed for a delusion is the falsity because sometime the true facts might be considered as a delusion and that is a misdiagnosis firmness of a delusion is important for fixed and unshakable that mean that persist after evidence you tell that i feel my neighbors want to kill me but when i prove it to you they don't want to kill you still you believe that they want to kill you that is what is persist after un, uh, and outkeeping with the socio cultural background for example in a village a lady is possessed by goddess entire village believes that she is the goddess is it a delusion no it is not a delusion because it is explainable by the socio cultural background like for example the religious settings which is a very controversial thing which i'll not discuss in the class are not delusions although they are false firm fixed beliefs but they are not delusions do you get it up to here yes 
you can add that but i would prefer to speak about that conviction part in the vectors now phenomenologically speaking types of delusion there is something called as primary delusion secondary delusion primary or autochthonous delusion which arises out of the blue by itself and secondary explainable by any other psychopathological phenomenon example schizophrenia delusions are many a time primary and mood disorders delusion are most of the time secondary because they are explainable by the mood things now in primary delusion also there is a concept of stages of formation or you can say there is something called as delusional mood del delusional percept sudden delusional idea now this is as per fish but as per sims and some other book they call delusional mood as delusional atmosphere okay then there is one book who also mentions about a fourth type some examiner are very particular about this fourth type of a primary delusion concept and that is delusional awareness then some people talk about a delusional memory are we clear with these terminologies in phenomenology or shall i discuss this is completely phenomenology but this is the most expected viva question when you will have a case on delusion it is a very less likely theory question but it is a most expected viva question although this lecture series does not include phenomenology but especially the first year residents here those who have attempted to read fish it's a 120 pages book which will trouble you for 3 years so those who have attempted to read fish and haven't got anything out of it it is very difficult to you know clearly delineate these with the help of examples and definitions especially the first year residents here you understand these things in delusional mood the person says that environment appears to be changed in a threatening way there is something abnormal in the environment so the emotional component or you know i feel there is something wrong going to happen then delusional perception i think i spoke about it in the this your first rank symptoms of schizophrenia it is abnormal significance attached to a real perception or you can say giving a false meaning to a normal perception dhara i am trying to discuss only briefly because you know if i go to this class uh, in detail only phenomenology will take 2 hours so i'm just giving you a basic sudden delusional idea is something that a primary delusion is all about out of the blue thoughts delusional awareness delusional awareness delusional awareness is
getting aware of the uncomfortable thoughts and delusional memory is false meaning to a past memory some people call it as a retrospective delusion all these examples are given in fish okay all these examples rohan i would wish to discuss but that would deviate me from the core topic of delusional disorder it is just a viva question on delusional disorder that you are supposed to know these things i would love to discuss but my core topic today is delusional disorder this is completely phenomenology so i have tried to give you the basic things now other than primary and secondary delusion they might ask you the delusion can be simple or complex some people call it as simple as ill systematized and complex as well systematized look in organic psychosis we usually have uh simple delusions while in functional psychosis we usually have complex delusion among functional psychosis also complex delusions are more commonly seen in delusional disorder so this is one of the first important thing that in a delusional disorder in a delusional disorder the delusions are very complex very very complex how do you differentiate simple and a complex delusion i feel my neighbors want to harm me simple delusion i feel my neighbors want to harm me they have brought a car which is red in color now they have brought a car which is red in color uh because they are jealous of my car which is also red in color and uh, their number plate of the car is 2946 which matches with my uh, telephone number 92946 so they are you know probably hinting me that this they are going to kill me with this car you know i'll discuss with you the pseudo community concept when the delusion is branching out that is more suggestive of that is more suggestive of you know this is a simple delusion now this branching out is more of a complex delusions you can say the other nearby phenomenons are also included as a part of the primary theme then it is a complex or a well systematized delusion look some examiners would wish you to say that uh, systematization helps to differentiate organic psychosis from functional psychosis but some examiners would wish you to say uh, systematization would help you to uh, differentiate schizophrenic psychosis versus a delusional disorder so as compared to schizophrenia delusional disorder is well systematized schizophrenia is ill systematized but if you compare schizophrenia versus delirium delirium delusions are very very ill systematized and uh, schizophrenia are well systematized do you get this concept ipsita delusional awareness is the concept not given in uh, this fish what i have understood about delusional awareness is that uh, after the sudden delusional idea appears the person acceptance of the fact that there is some abnormal thought process starting so we do not have a proper standard definition and proper standard example i have read it from sims and one more article about delusional awareness look if your examiner is fish centric please do not utter the last two words only utter the first three words and if the examiner says do you know any other primary delusion then only say the last two words do you get it ipsita rohan anvir basha delusional perception i think uh, you missed the schizophrenia lecture giving a false meaning to a normal perception people are walking outside my room and i feel as if an army is marching towards me so i have given a false meaning to a normal perception